Got a bolognese simmering to my desired thickness in the in the kitchen. It's like an incredibly snowy day out. Um, I'm actually a little bit. This is this is us doing the floating continent here, but I've actually done a little bit of this already on uh, two days ago. But I kept getting destroyed by behemoths and other scary creatures in here. So I made it to the first save point, but it was like three or four full attempts. So that maybe is not like the best thing to see. So I'm about halfway through, so I'm about halfway through the, fro the floating continent. Let's see the party. I'm a little more like warm, a little more wiser now about how this is gonna go. And let's get to the end of the first half. Here's my team. Terra, Sabbat, and Cyan. Heavy armor guy, a big health pool guy, my overall mage. And then Shadow, you basically have to have. Uh, is anyone close to a level? No, nope, everyone's pretty far from them. Do we have any Esper levels? Oops. I haven't really thrown much with him. Basically, the big thing that's been frightening has been the... What's it called? The Behemoths. The Behemoths are kind of hard to figure out what they're up to. But they don't like me one bit, I gotta say. Alright, let's get out of here. I think over there to the right is a treasure chest. I have to make I have to set my guys floating, I forgot about that. Probably should have done suplex there. I'm gonna heal, because I'm sure they're gonna do the water scroll on me too. That is a lot of damage to Shadow. Shadow is just crazy. Crazy squishy. Kill them please. Kill the cure in here. Hopefully we get some muddles in here. Does the fact that it doesn't say fail or no imply they both got muddled there? Yes. Great. Great delay for me. Swat yourself. I'm not gonna rest of you that public. So one thing I've been thinking of is since my last two games I played were Secret of Mana 1 and 2, that it might be time since they're relatively short playthroughs, like under 20 hours each, that it might be time to kind of like investigate, like opening them up, opening up all the VODs in Adobe Premiere Pro, and uh, doing sort of like a best of comp. I did that for about half an hour going through the first VOD. Oh my god, that would take a long time. I might still do it. I gotta say. Okay, where are we going here? That opens that up over here that's the chest okay so this is all clear but uh i have to figure out like a little bit of better better method of doing it uh, because it feels like very very time consuming and like even getting three clips from the first like few minutes of the episode is like hey that's like already 45 seconds to a minute so if you want to keep it pretty short how exactly are you going to do that let's say you want to make a 15 minute video out of 17 hours and like that. is that realistic but how long would you want to make a compilation video? Do you just go for boss stuff? It's a brave new world. Just like this mod. Oh. It's not as if the fate of the world is hanging in the balance or anything. Oh wait, it is. Uh, stay. We're doing pretty good. I think this is probably getting close to where we're at, Maya. Here we go. Okay, um... Just make sure we're all topped up. I think this fight is gonna blast my butt. Um, I know we need to spell. Just to review who has to spell. Him. Anyone else? So just to review, he has no other spells you can get, right? Just Kira and Bismarck? Anyone close to another extra level? Anything else we should do kind of soon? 117 seems like a lot. I mean, I don't know what the boss does. So as I don't need a Gale hairpin. Stat stick? So basically stat stick or... 
Magic cube. Sleep model berserk. What is her Esper block? Carbuncle? Auto regen is fine. Maybe try to use stated. I'm just gonna do a magic cube. Problem with that is that I should have to then re store what she has. We'll do this. And then uh, let's give it a try. But I know I've used a spell on this one. There's some serious boss I'm at I am matter. I am at matter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time. And I will consume you, badass. I wonder if I should use this thing to make people blink here. Let's get sap on this guy. What's this? What's this gonna do? Do my magic points? Yeah. Okay, can we get some regen on people? What kind of spell should I do with this guy? Slow him to start. Destroying my magic points and choosing the right person to do it to, too. I love this song, it's so sick. So he's immune to sap? I just spell, what's he gonna do? There's null to whatever that is. I should scan him. Okay, scan works. Now, if, can I pummel them now? Still not. Let's see how this does. 962 for that. What should I do on her? Can. Yeah. I'm sure this guy's gonna be an absolute monster. This is like outside of Data Luma and Zozo, where it was shocking how strong he was. Uh, this is the person I've been anticipating to be, like, just an absolute monster the whole time. She's null to that for some reason, which is great. I'm gonna hold my breath that this is gonna be manageable. Weak against ice. Status regen. Status slow. How much did the ninja star do? Oh, that is just a normal attack? Oh, that was ninja star. I'm 300. Did they say how much health they had? I kind of looked in that there a little bit. So we're not going to be able to cast slow on it. They keep knowing the right person to cast Rasp on it's slow and busted. 81 is so crazy. This is not really good. This is like 1100. I think the, I think the dragon did more. That's even worse. Okay, so let's try Fire 3. Let's try Pummel again? There's no way I can get it to work, right? 1200, that's pretty good. Where's the damage come in? When level phase of Gears is. Is this gonna kill her? Probably it's Flare. No? Worse? Oh, that did though. Okay, throw another Ninja Star. There's life on her. So, do I use. Do I try to use, like, water magic? It's not clear what he's weak to, but I gotta heal her up a little bit. So I guess I'll use a mantra here. Not really there's not really a point, honestly. What do I do? Aura Bolt seems to do a lot. What is that? That's more magic destruction? I'm gonna heal her with a Red Bull. That'll keep her from floating as well. Why is Shadow not floating? He didn't die. A light heal here. Let's try to throw a water scroll? Wait, hold no, no, no. Not really worth it. 1500 is so good. Another ninja star, I guess? Hurricane? It's gonna do more. I think it's like all over twice, honestly. Okay, I really don't know what to do. I think it's just horrible. I feel like we're plugging along, but I'm just I'm waiting for this guy to actually be a monster. I should cast slow again, probably. I don't know when it fades off. So Shadow's gonna hit by this. Because for some reason he lost his float. It's not bad. What do I tell? What 
conditions he has. What a strong spell. 1500. Great heal shot. Too bad. I'm gonna lose Shadow here. Yeah. Okay. Here comes a life spell. Oh my god, that's bad. But you have to tincture. Make sure I have Phoenix Wood. Phoenix Down is so useless here. I'll try it though. Phoenix Down into. Uh. Cure 2. So I'm gonna do mantra. Here. This should top everyone up. This will probably be most of it. Yeah, this is pretty much it. So this is probably wasted. But he'll sign in a little bit. So I'm just gonna keep throwing shurikens, I guess. Ninja stars? I'd like to win this. Who's just gonna hit? Shadow? That's another death, right? Especially if he has that uh, follow up attack. He's in the I assume this is gonna kill him. I'm gonna need to re refund her magic. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have shadow to that. So uh, I don't know what purge is, but I have more tinctures than I have ether, so I'll use this. What does that do? Okay, that cures people's float. I feel like these boys are doing a lot. I guess we shall recast float. It's not a very strong spell. Oh, I cast myself by accident. Shit. Whatever. We're not that low. Level is rising, yeah, this is what I was worried about. What do I do against that? Just, now I just try to spell him, I think. What other spells do we have that are useful here? He needs to restore his own magic. He's gotta have some. Right, dude. Should I slow him again? Oh, his gears are spinning. I've never seen that before. Okay, so now he's got upgraded spells. So now we're gonna get f messed up. It's a, quite a strong one. So there goes my chance to dispel, but I do have MP on, on Cyan now. I don't know what that does, that's terrifying. So I guess I have to kind of like, I'm gonna try to keep ourselves healed up, but it really just feels like I don't have many guys who can actually do damage here. Blair, a one shot. Okay, so I need a life spell on him. I need to remedy her. And then hopefully she can bust out a healing spell before he does his next flare star. I'm not, uh, not feeling optimistic about this. Spam survival. Did I fuck it up? Oh. oh boy. I fucked up that mantra. That might be really bad. That might have been my that might have been my death knell. Abbott's power level is maximum. Okay, so now we have to I absolutely have to cast a spell here, which I forgot to do. of shurikens, full power. Okay. 
this attack. I hope this means that his health is low. It's not just like a countdown. Oh god. Okay, we've got to spell this guy this. Okay, use this on him. Let's see what we get. So he's berserk now. Is this gonna do anything? I just gotta slow on him again. Atmos defenses are down. Nice. Okay. So that means. Grab bomb. I was, gonna I was hoping to morph. I want to morph here and then do a full spell. What does it mean his defense is down? What's this going to do to sap him? Okay. okay, and then full... I think fire... I think he's a bit resistant to fire, but we got to switch out anyway. Some good tarot. Okay, so another shuriken. He's casting quarter. I'm working Sabin. That means Sabin is going to use Mantra now. Then I'm going to try to squeeze out another attack. I should heal actually. Unfortunately, I've lost Cyan, but that was actually really good healing. I'm going to use Dried Meat on Sabin. Take more damage. Okay, no, one more fire three. She can't. Not wise to do this. Or bolt. She needs a heal desperately. But we all need one. I should have cast regen on people. Or slow, maybe? This lifesaver spell has been like pretty minimal so far. But when it hits, it's gonna be bad. My last shuriken. I need a heal. She's about to do it, right? Okay. I'm gonna spam Mantra. We seem to be getting damage out of other people. I don't really like the Cyan is. It's still pretty good damage. Okay, is this one strong? I'm a storing power, that's bad, right? You have to just dis dispel him when he's like, I need a remedy on her, or at least a energy. Sapin is sapped? Because regen on Please don't kill him. Okay, that's not great. Storing power. Never good. A remedy. Pretty well on shurikens. That's definitely something I should have stocked up on. He starts over lame. What's it do? Oh, damn it. Damage. Any more shurikens? No. Wave scroll? Just attack. It's still not working. Pretty good for me. She's low. Another tincture. Probably should use ether, actually. Can I throw some more weapons? What else we got here? Healing Shiv, Switchblade, Sakura... I really want to throw unique weapons. I should cast Dispel. Or wait till he does his big spell. What does this do? Falls up with a strong and normal attack, typically. Blue Jade at the Fountain, love it. Okay, so do I care that he's Berserked? It's fine, right? Yeah, that gets Shadow back in range. That is such a strong heal, it's unbelievable. What do I do? I'm gonna slow him. Can I scan again? This is not a boss fight that I anticipate is close to done. I feel like this is a strong one. I squeeze in an orb bolt here, hopefully. Someday it's gonna work. It's not on her, I don't think. Are you gonna attack there? I 
gods. This shadow is so weak without throws. I wish I had distalled like a million shurikens. I fucked up. I hope this doesn't do anything horrible. This is the status one, right? Okay, now I'm gonna cast a remedy on Saya. She's getting heal. I cast a spell soon, I'm gonna wait. Once it starts to warm me, those power levels higher. Tap the power, yeah. Oh my god. Alright, Cyan. She's got a life here. And what is she gonna do? She's slowed, shit. I haven't been noticing that really. Okay, this, is really this is where his offensive capabilities are very, very high. I don't think anyone else has dispel. Counterjacks get a drain on him? No? Alright. Should I cast haste on her? Safe, and then I need to spell this power. And then more five stars. Okay, I need to. I'm gonna be able to get. Do I have, do I have someone with haste? I don't even know. I have to check to see if Sabin has it. So much damage. Ape, sleep, sleep, float. I don't even feel like this is even. I'll cast slow just in case she has it in a while. I kind of forget how to check that without using scan. Oh yeah, scan is free, right? What does this do? And then a follow-up attack? Shadow attacking is like the most useful, useless thing. Does someone have haste? I think. Possibly the most destructive. I'm destroying power, trying to destroy till he's at full to, to dispel him. He's stopped. Two are stopped. What do I do against that? Wait, okay, good. Alright. Um. That might have been, like, impossible if you don't know how to dispel, if you don't know to dispel the full power. But, uh, that was pretty manageable. The damage is pretty low. Things like Flare Star, he, like, almost never used. But I guess that might just be partially luck. The whole game, Data Luma, is maybe gonna be the hardest fight. Got an Atma weapon from him, makes a lot of sense. Data. He's out. What a dickhead. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, who can use it? Where is it? 
Attacks with stamina, weaker, low HP. Terra, Lock, Celeste, Edgar. It's only her. Okay, so now she has to be more. Now she has to be more cognizant of stamina. Ag stam. matter at this point. Okay, right, here we go. Let's see things get wild. Let me remember what my voices are. <laughs> What's going on? I see you finally made it. Oh, General Celeste. So nice of you to join us. It's Eva Kefka. Oh my, have you come to try and stop us? That is... Absolutely adorable. <laughs> You've already come to throw your lives away, have you? Far be it from me not to oblige. Behold! Nice. You did, did you stream the Valheim yesterday? Behold, the Warring Triad! Ah! What divine power this is! Gestalt was like pretty good at being the dick all along, but I do think he's kind of being uh, manipulated by Kafka. Epo, Gestalt, please stop this madness! Pew. What's Celeste doing here? Nice. Did you have a good time? Celeste is back. Ah, oh, my dear Celeste, come to my side. You alone are different. You and Kefka were given life to serve me. It is your duty to ensure the world is populated with magical children to sustain my new empire. Kill them with your own hands and we'll forgive your disloyalty. This is the sword I used to slay their worthless traitor, Leo. It's only fitting that you use it to redeem yourself. Leo is a good man. And now he's compost. That's what happens to people who stand in our way. Now, kill that! Come on. Come on, Celeste. I believe in you. Celeste, together we can rule an entire world. Think of it. I have no desire to rule the world. I was bred to kill and conquer. Nothing else. Turner's empire. Which side I'm on makes no difference. I see that now. In the end, it doesn't change who I am or why I'm here. Or what I must do. Imagine being a little kid. What? Is she gonna kill him? Oh my god! <laughs> Stabbed! Whoa! Blood? I'm bleeding! You bitch! You vicious, arrogant, bath stabbing, worthless, conniving little bitch! I hate. I hate. I hate. He's so pissed. Goddesses, you were born to fight. Now is the time. Show me your power. He's crying. <laughs> Cross my... The catnip burrito. I command you. Give me your power. You don't, you don't like the cross... You don't like the crossed eyes? I haven't really gotten the habit of like using it that often. You have to use Twitter for like your shower thoughts every day. But I don't often think about it. No more games, damn it! I command you to give me power! Kefka, stop! If you derive them, they'll destroy the very world we intend to rule. So Celeste kind of sets things off here by stabbing him. Like, Kefka. This is where Kefka goes unhinged. Kefka, are you insane? Insane? I'm merely showing them the meaning of true power. I don't think so, friend. You've become useless. Your days are now over. Just relax. I'm going to put you down with the very power 
You've unleashed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What are you what are you laughing at? Very well. I suppose it's only fitting that you die as you've lived. Fire three! Pew. Okay. A fun man. I'll check in later. Flare! Kafka's like, oh, oh, was that, was that Flare? No, no, no. What, what's going on? Why isn't my magic working? Merton. <laughs> Kafka, how? <laughs> How are you doing this? How? Simple. I'm standing within the magic field of the Warring Triad. This field is how they neutralized each other. It absorbs all magic sent their way. Or hadn't you noticed? Triad, your first victim has stepped forward. This old man has become useless. It's time you show him your true power. No, Kefka, stop. I was meant to be emperor. Oh, I command you. Oh, incredible. <laughs> You're way off. Come on. Where the fuck are you aiming? Oh, Ooh, close. <laughs> More to the right. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. You be well done. <laughs> Kicks him like a, like a rock. Poor old bastard. Oh well. That's what happens when you become useless. Here's where Kefka absolutely loses his shit. This world is about to learn the meaning of fear. Kefka, no! Don't do it, Kefka. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it! Oh, shit. Kefka, you fool. If you move those statues out of alignment, it will shatter the balance that seals their power. If you really think about it, that's really your problem. You'll destroy the world. Oh, is that what will happen? I had no idea. He's back. What a strange role he has in the world of balance. Come on, do it, big guy. Put those back. There's not a fight here, is there? Shadow! Go! Get out of here! But go! You'll never leave this place alive, Celeste! Come on, big guy. Is there a treasure here? There is a couple. <laughs> Alright, everyone, stay calm. I'll get us out of here. Will you? Oh, God. Uh, Gale Hairpin. Uh, Life Bell. Uh, Esper. Bigger, magic speed. Wait, hold on. Sorry. Full damage, blocking lead muddle. Yeah, it's fine. Gotta go. We low health. Is there something up here? I gotta hurry a bit here. I haven't. There's been a lot of while since I saved, so I cannot fuck this up. That's humanoid, right? What's shock? Why do I have shock? What the fuck? What is going on? There's no, there's no experience for that? Wait, what? 
Why do I have General Leo's ability? Is it the sword? Oh. I'm not complaining. We got the real team here. I, this is crazy, I've never seen anything like this. Does it change your secondary shock? Or only if Celeste has it, or anybody? I guess it's to make this thing easier, to give yourself like an AoE ability, but did you get to keep it? Did it damage to her too? I guess we're not getting experience points for this? This is crazy. A lot of new information going on here. I seem to make this fairly easy. Oh my god. I think just attacking is faster for this. Holy dispatch. How did we kill this guy so easily before? Was it Shonk? Was it a bat lady different than a cat lady or something? No hamburgers. Is it, is, is it the shock? So this is super fast, right? I don't understand, it kills them. Okay, we're in pretty good shape, unless there's some sort of, like, end thing. I wonder why the guys did this. It kills them. I can't get a... Like, I can't get an explanation of why she has this ability. Don't ask questions, I guess. Oh! What a tease. It's a boss. Pathetic mortals. Witness the power of true magic. Okay, I don't have Runa, so that's something to say. She's the ultimate? Wait, this is horrible. Celeste, such dark power. You can feel it in your soul. Let it consume you. What the fuck is happening? Let's strike me down with it. This is like a... So we got like a Celeste as the hero, Skywalker, Dark Vader move over here? Plus, no. Not darkness. Light. Oh, okay. This is her redemption arc. I got it. That's actually really smart. That's a nice touch to this that they didn't have before. Because Celeste now has her redemption arc going into being... Protagonist 1B. That was a really nice touch. Really, really nice touch. Do you have life? I mean, I gotta just heal everybody, I guess. Really nice touch. Very cool. What a wrinkle. Not without shadow. They give me not without shadow right away. Before you had to do it several times before you got that. We can't lose our shadow. We can't lose our shadow. Okay, now we just chill. I guess they give you the shock doing instant one-shot damage to this thing to teach you that it's the thing to use against this next guy. It is a bit confusing the way that worked. I was really, really worried there for a second. This is not- after I'm a weapon and that whole sequence, I would not like if this was a extremely difficult part of the game. That would be cheesy! Mm, my bolognese needs a stir, I can smell it. I've skimmed it, so I did... Uh, a package of ground pork, a package of Wagyu ground beef, and two hot Italian sausages. I browned all that meat, put it aside, wiped out the pan, and then shallots, carrots, and celery, and olive oil. 
big dash of salt, sweated it down, added garlic and tomato paste, and then one of my little juice boxes of red wine and some veal stock that I had left over. And then once I reduced the veal stock by a bunch and the red wine, Chade! I never let myself get blown to hell before I collect my pay. And then um, a whole thing of tomatoes, like a huge can of tomatoes, and all that went in there. And now it's been simmering for hours. We need to get out of here before that island hits us. Where's Kefka? Is there a treasure chest there? Did I miss a treasure chest? Oh. Can't do anything about it now. And then kind of looking about how simmering something covered is if you want to cook it and concentrate flavor more. Whereas cooking something uncovered is more about like reducing water for consistency. So I cooked a cover for the first little bit, and then I was like, hmm, I don't need this to be more liquidy. So now I'm cooking it for like another two hours. So probably four hours total. We went at 11.30, so it's four hours now. Hang on! Oh, shit. Watch out, everybody. Uh, now it's, uh, once I get to the right consistency, I'll have myself an early dinner and start carb loading, because tomorrow I start my big three-month workout program. Hopefully those, hopefully my boys, hopefully the Segan boys plow my driveway tomorrow morning. Look at the, you can see the continents shift. That's so cool. I remember the, like, the first time I played this game to this point, uh, this part was like, this is crazy. You've never seen this in a game before. The apocalypse. On that day, the world was changed for. sees ruby red now. I used to call her and I used to call Celeste Angela, but Angela. Thinking I was being clever, that I was like going with the heaven and earth metaphor more. It's not a bad name actually. But like the insistence on Angela instead of Angela with only one L, not really gonna work. It's a sad part of this game. Nice, nice Macintosh. A little fire today. It's a nice, pretty nice vibe on a Sunday morning. Celis? You're, you're awake at last. I feel like I've been sleeping forever. For almost a year, actually. I, I was starting to worry you never give up. You never wake up. Oh, yeah. You've looked after me all this time. Are you much more than that? The most terrible dream. So angry and confused. Celeste. <clears throat> On a small, deserted island. After the world crumbled, I awoke to find us here, together with a few strangers. Who I ate. I cooked them and ate them. After the world crumbled, it wasn't a dream. But everyone else, where's it look? I don't know. For all I know, this rock could be the only part of the world that's still above water. Since that day, the world's continued sliding deeper and deeper into ruin. Plants are withering, the animals are wasting away. Those who washed up here with us, they gave up hope. One by one, they threw themselves from the northern rocks. Friends. Gone. Celis, please don't despair. 
You're the closest thing to family that I have. We can just live our lives out here peacefully. I suppose so, Sid. What should I say, Grandpa? May I call you that? Perhaps, eh? Well, all of a sudden, I have a granddaughter. <laughs> Granddad. <laughs> Hungry. I haven't eaten since I f <coughs> fell ill about three days ago. What do you like? Oh, many things. Many things, but I'm afraid if I didn't ask for fish, I won't get anything. Go catch some. You, lie down. Get in there, big guy. Yeah. I got this. Ooh, it's a little speedy boy. I like that. You know, this is fast, right? Come on. Come on. Come on, I need a new window. What did I get here? Rare, tasty fish. A tasty fish. Wonderful. All you get is cider and a clock key from the South Figaro one. Otherwise, there's no rare items the whole time, except the pendant that Terra has. Hey, get back in bed, you rascal. Come on, Dad, here's a fish. Eat up! Not a rapping, Celeste. I'm proud of you. All right, come on. Don't worry about that. Fish are not good. Is there a way to reset the fish? I can't bet this any longer. Eh. This is like a medium fish. If I talk to him again, what happens? Is he gonna die? Is that how you reset the fish? That's the fucking tuna. There's the bluefin. Give me that toro. I want that toro! Toro's good. Give me that toro. Yeah! It'd be cool if you could feed the bad fish to the, to the seagull. Brandon, here's a fish. Eat up. I don't have it, Celeste. Ugh. I'm proud of you. Wish you could feed the bad fish to the seagull. Come here, buddy. Hey, this is not bad. Not fast enough. I won't have it. Only the best fish. If you got a fast buddy, come on, you've had two already. This seems pretty good, right? Just a fish. Red. Feed to the seagull. Well, oh, you're just getting a fish. Still good for you. You got. You need to get those DHA levels, and you got. We need some. We need some iron regulation. No matter what happens, Celeste, I'm proud of you. All right, come on. Is that what you said last time too. Oh my God! Look at this guy. That's a Toro. No, no, no. This one. No. God damn it. No, no. Come here. Come here. There you go. All right, slurp it up, Grandpa. Sashimi style. The first time I ever had uni, sea urchin, it was bad. And I didn't know it was bad because I heard it was an acquired taste. I'm like, maybe this is the way it was. But in retrospect, having better uni later, since then, I eh, feel a little better. Have, since I've had better uni later, I now realize the first time I ever had it was like pretty horrible. And it like stuck in my head for like days. You know when you taste something horrible? Like after you finish eating it? That's what the uni was. Me and my friend were like, we, her and I were like, Ooh. I was like, no, it's good. It's good. I, I know it's good. I think it's good. But it was not good. Ugh. Granddad, here's a fish. Eat up. Thank you for everything. That's it? Only four? I have something I, I have something I want to show you. It only took four, that was sweet. What's that? Have a look downstairs. It's something I've been working on for the last year. 
Back to bed I go. Thank you for everything. Is there a flame saver in the oven? No? God damn it. The raft. Why don't you come with me? You must leave this place, Celeste. You have to find your friends. Yo. No, not coming. Oh, I should stay here. I've done too much to help bring about the destruction of this world. Oh, a noble exile? I respect that. Granddad. I have no more right to live among people in Kafka. Bring everyone back to meet you. So long as you promise to bring along that lock fellow. That babies. Nice big chubby babies. It's a deal. The suicide one's actually like a little bit better to some degree because she sees the bandana. She sees she sees Locke's bandana on the gull's leg, and it's just a little more uh, it's a little more interesting. But this way, I get to come back and visit him, which is cool. When I do the same overlay. I do the same overlay for Earthbound. I'm gonna get all of the cutout drawings that you get from the magazine of like a lot of the main characters and like that. I'm gonna speckle it around because I think the background is gonna be like just the cover art of the game, you know, with them, with them in the big Starman or whatever it is. <coughs> Alright, here we go. This is nice because I get to start with my favorite party members. Alright, let's get you some items, shall we? This still says... Here, let me see. If I do this, status. Fight runic magic item. So she only has shock for that one thing. Alright, let's compare these swords. That's her stamina as a little. That's pretty low. She's the Imperial then. Can use heavy armor, which is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, so what are the things? Uh, you gotta equip a proper Esper. Has bolt damage, blocks mute metal berserk. You have to do those things if you don't alone in a party. M of eight plus ten. Block sleep, petrified death. Mute metal berserk, sleep, petrified death. Mute metal berserk, sleep, petrified death. Sleep metal berserk. Gale hairpin is pretty good. If you're alone. Hero ring, make our allies now. White cape, mute imp, mute, imp, mute stop. But at the same time, you kind of want her to have more vigor. You know what I mean? Blind poison petrify. This is a sleep model berserk. Blind poison petrify. What's the white cape do? Here we go. Imp mute stop. Those are fine. Sleep model berserk. Blind poison petrify. Yeah, that's fine. And then death. Oh, we got one that she hasn't got stuff for yet. Interesting. Wow, she's way behind. You barely get to use her, huh? Nice two. Very appropriate to her. I never, I never got that because I didn't think she could do it. Haste. We have a regen, cure two, re rise. Does she not have cure two? Interesting. Okay, so I just blaze through everything. Haste. Who gives a shit? Is she Vesper levels? Two. HP, MP, Vigor, Stam, Magic, Magic Speed, Vigor. Well, one Vigor, Stam. And then one just plus Magic? HP, MP? She's pretty low. Maybe only because she's 18. We'll see. Anyway. Let's go find our boy. Albrook. On that day, debris from all over the world floated to the center of the continent and formed that tower. That's so cool. Almighty Kefka's up there. We're using the power of the warring tribe to strike down all who oppose him. You're a little bit reverential, aren't you, the bird? 74k. Hey, get the fuck out of the way. Okay. I'm really glad the Atma weapon didn't destroy me. 
so mystified by how that Zozo boss is, like, just absolutely King Kong. Many monsters these days can inflict nasty conditions. Gotta keep yourself protected when you're wandering about. Agree? Anyone who opposes Lord Kefka gets his or her town torched by the light of judgment. Very gender respectful. Everything changed on that day. Yep. Alright, pal, what do you got? I don't think it's be better than what I have. I'm a scholar of weapons. The stories of a thousand-year-old monster called Emma Webner a myth. Yeah, yeah. I have both of them, by the way. Scimitar, Flame Tongue, Morning Star, Rising Star. It's still the same shit. I guess I don't know. I guess I guess it's not realistic to expect they'd get, uh, you know, equipment upgrades post apocalypse. Many long sealed monsters are released when the world is ripped apart, among which are eight legendary dragons. Myths speak of a ninth dragon, the king of them all, that wielded ultimate power. According to legend, that power can only be contained by the elements represented by the other dragons. Each element in succession would delay the release of the dragon king's power, but would also add to it. That stored energy could then only be purged by a neutral force after enough time had passed for it to weaken. Were the power of too many elements to be absorbed too quickly, it would be unleashed before that could happen. What? Myths speak of a ninth dragon, the king of them all, that will own the power. According to legend, that power could only be contained by the elements represented by the other dragons. Each element in succession, does that mean a specific succession? Would delay the release of the dragon king's power, but would also add to it? That stored energy could then only be purged by a neutral force after enough time had passed for it to weaken? What? Is this talking about how to fight the dragon, or is it talking about how to unlock the dragon when fighting other ones? Well, someday we'll find out. I get this. I feel like enough time has passed, I don't really feel like it. I finished the portrait Emperor Gessal commissioned me to paint. Of course he died before I could show it to him. I ended up selling it to Alzer, an art collector in Gajidor. If you ever get a chance to see it, the reverse side is some kind of a treasure map. I wonder where it leads. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, so do I get that gold armor just for like raw stats? Do ships work? Assume that's a no. Stay away from the engine room. No one cares. Nobody here? See if it goes berry cubes, print shoes, dragon seal. Got all these things. One of each is fine with me. Let's check the stuff over here first. Ancient texts speak of an ultimate magical power sealed away. Ancient texts speak of an ultimate magical power sealed away by eight dragons. That's it? Some big guy came through here recently, said he was looking for his friends. You sort of match the description he gave. He also said he was heading north to Ziza. Thank you. We need to sleep. I guess some of these battles might be challenging alone. 300 bucks, what a douchebag. 0.05% of my net worth? Mm. Hey, caramba. All right, Celeste, we believe in you. Have your solo adventure. There's a demon roaming the skies, killing anyone that looks at it. Folks, folks call it Doom Gaze. Folks. Folks call it Doom Gaze. Doom. Folks call it Doom Gaze. Steer clear of the deserts when you travel, just near a man that can stand the likes of what could be there. Really? They say that the sea is red these days because Leviathan is angry. There's a lot going on here. They give me a lot of information. What about you, pal? I think back at how nice the world used to be. You hated these guys when they're here. Classic. The good old days are never good in the moment. Or maybe he's just like a money hungry asshole who doesn't care that those guys were like groping those girls' coochies. And then I realized it'll never be the same again. Sigh. I was making so much money. This is bullshit. Alright, so... I guess that's it for Albrook. Do I buy- I still kind of feel like I should buy a gold armor. But, whatever. Like, she's not like she's using... I got a pole- I got a power armor, that's good. That's fine. Then a little extra juice. 
All right, well, let's see how this goes. I gotta cross the Empire. Me and you chum. Avoid that for now. Is there still Kolingan down the bottom left? Was that Kolingan? Lunaris and Offspray. Oh. You can't blame me. Did I cast spells here? Oh. One more attack than a heal. Razor Leaf? How's this gonna do? Okay, that was a lot. I'm dead. Most likely. Come on, block that dog. Come on, block this. Okay, good try, everybody. Yeah, that went really well. The dog is the risk, because it does the more raw physical damage. What do I do to the dog? Do I cast magic spells here? I have ice, too. Okay, let's just pretend that never happened. I never like the screen. It's not, like, the color is, like, off black. Okay, let's try, try that again. I'm a faster battle this time. Lunaris and Osprey. All right, what do you got, bud? Bolt two. Demi, Berserk. I messed that boy up. Nice, that should be better. Now it's two attacks in this thing. I feel like I should use the ammo weapon, see how it does. Ammo weapon is a by, by like current max HP. Is he killing again? <laughs> so I guess I just use bolt two on everybody. Maybe I should take off. The first battle one shot me both times. Worrying trend. To quote Joshua Jat Leesman, worrying trend. Alright, everything's fine. The other towns aren't even here. Kolingan is gone. Okay, Lunaris Osprey? Two of these guys? Alright, let's hit him with a double bolt too. Good happen. Oh my god. So how much does this do? You split it. Not enough. Oh. The other thing was maybe the problem. I baited. She's so low on MP. Heard to Terra? Okay. I know your role, lady. Best feeling in this game is when you press X and get into the menu screen without even seeing the roadmap. That's the dream. Weaker at low HP. Oh, I'm gonna be at low HP a lot, so hopefully it works. Do I use a tincture? No. Okay, I think I can get to town soon. Gonna go. One more, one more shot. Famous last words. Two of these guys? That's fine. Let's get it. Let's get an attack off of that now. Nice block. 67. So it's the same as the split bolt. Why'd I hit that guy? Okay, now we're gonna use both on both of them. All right, don't die. Nice. All right, cool. We're champions. 600 HP, 600 XP is the most I think I've almost ever seen anyone get. We had one boss fight or something like that that gave me a big chunk, I think, correctly. All right, let's find our boy here. They said don't go in the deserts? The Serpent Trench used to be deep underwater. Now it's above sea level. Some weirdos calling themselves the Cult of Kefka built a tower there. I like I love this parts of games. Everyone you go tells you something specific. Oh shit. This is a place where you need to block against petrify. What do I mean? It's all the same shit. I love that.
What's this? 15 Gs. Ooh, mama. What does it do? So good. Alright, it's good for some stuff. Super, fit, pretty, super pretty physically weak. I gotta check out that relic shop. I don't need the end. Do I? Work? Can you let me do this? Go back inside. There you go. You mean outside? <laughs> relic shop? Is there... Sorry, pal, but I'm fresh out of Magic Rock. If I need a fix, I hear some nut bars north of Nold Coling in a cell. Got it. Nut bar. I never liked that word. Hurry before the house collapses. Hurry before the house collapses. What are you guys saying? Monsters are inside. Hurry before the house collapses. Someone must have pissed off Kefra. Hey, bud. Okay, so if I recall this correctly, you need to have something that blocks petrify. Hopefully that'll do. Does that mean I can do something else for this slot? Sleep model berserk. Let's just keep it this way. What's this doing? Block sleep petrified death. Should be good. Let's do gale hairpin and sprint shoes. Let's see if that works. I still think the Imperial will be better here. Oh, blood sword? Bigger, stamina, and then a chance to bleed. Yeah, that's better. Well, somebody please think of the children. Somebody please do something. Hey, bud. Celeste, get in there quick! Huh? There's a kid trapped inside. If I move, the whole house will collapse. I can't hold this up forever. Make it quick! Six minutes, baby. Let's go. I guess we've got to get some treasure in here. Received ether. Tincture. Where are my random battles at? About 3,000 GP, dude. What's up here? Okay, this one. Feels like it's lower. Mud Crab. Okay, so. What do I cast on these guys? What are these, I feel like I've mostly fight these guys, so I gotta see what they do. So I should cast Float on myself. Got it. Oh. I should have saved once I equip myself. Weakens ice. Got plenty of that. <laughs> I gotta cast float on myself. Does that mean red? I just might just do a red bull. Just to make sure. Should cover most of those losses. I can't be playing this defensively, obviously, but now that we're floating, we should be fine. I don't have a whole lot of magic. I don't she has so little MP, I don't see what, understand what the deal is. They just really make Terra like just the one superstar? Alright, one shot him, please. Okay, good. Getting XP, I love that. Is there a boss here? Nothing? Whatever. So does this mean I still... Is this still the same split? I think that's what they're saying. That, like, things have very, very strong single target damage. But no matter how many is split between, it's still just a split. Which I definitely saw the case. Like, it did, like, more than... Zephyr Cape? The treasure over here? Do I have to fight anything? See have Ninja Star. And the kids here? I'm scared. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Is there nothing else here? This is pretty soft. That's real. This is only a real risk. Everything else does roll with 80 damage. I hope there's not some treasure that I forgot about. Seems fine.
I remember this being pretty challenging. Only got three more ice twos. What's that? Oh, don't do that twice. This is fine. About time! Whoa! Watch out! Hey, dude! What's going on? Seven! <laughs> You're alive! Oh, <laughs> yeah, you think a minor thing like the end of the world is gonna do me in, dude? Everyone was dead. Giving up all hope. But I can't give up now, can I? They might all still be alive. And once we find everyone. Yeah, I know. We'll smash Kefka and fight for everlasting peace. Haha. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Mobile is to the east along the Serpent Trench, or what's left of it anyway. Kefka's light of judgment really torched that place. Thank you so much for your help. Looking for your friends? Head north on the server trench in region Ikea. You should find out more there. I'm scared. Ever since the world fell apart, all sorts of things have been washing ashore on the world's beaches. Most of it is junk, but you can sometimes find some really good stuff. What does that mean? Go to beaches? Oh, I think it's that you go back to, um... I think it's that you go back to that island that Sid's on sometimes. You can, make, you can find mag Magicite there, right? Anyone who defies the Almighty Kefka is doomed. He uses his Light of Judgment from Hightop's tower to devastate entire towns. I was on lookout duty for Kefka. Not that there's anything I could have done. There. Who's this? I saw a mud crab the other day. Horrible creatures. I avoid them whenever I can. What? What am I missing here? doing the one of each thing, which is a terrible idea, but until we get better claws, that's all we're doing. Can you use a light robe? That's weird. You may not, sir. I know you're a monk, but you're not that kind of monk. Do you need to heal? Yeah. Well, fine. Mobus is turning into the Lord of the Flies. Come on, dude. Let's get some sleep. Come on, dude. Yeah. death. Still really feel like pretty good ones to avoid. Blind poison in. Death plus 10. Blind poison in. I really think these are better. Anyway, uh, you need some... I'm gonna remove... Actually, these are fine. I don't know. Hero ring, that's what he's gonna use. White cape. Hit mute stop. Sleep metal berserk. That's sick, black belt. He's probably gonna use black belt hero ring. Magic cube. kind of needs this. I don't know. You, sir. Two claws. Tiger mask. Gaia gear. Hero ring. I don't like that magic on it, though. Hero ring black belt, probably. Yeah. Okay, so she should have... She still needs spell points. She just didn't get very many. Okay, where should we go? Excuse me, I need to go stir my bolognese. Right back.
uh, but mostly it's skimmed. You don't want to lose too much tomato when you skim off the oil. And then I probably think after about another hour of thickening, it should be fine. I took a Twitter video. Thank you, Kai, for reminding me I should do that more often. Okay, I need to go back in here and heal. Because it gave us a lot of extra stats. So that was a waste of 350 bucks, I'll never get back. But there are worse things. Okay, so now they say to go north to Mobiles. I remember, I remember you can take a Chocobo. If I recall correctly. So I was going to wait till I like had more of a captive audience here. But on Friday, I went to my friend's mom, who's like a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner. And I got like a full thing of acupuncture. And I also got her to do cupping on my back. So I want to show you what this looks like. I hope that was a good display. I have eight beautifully spaced, purple, perfect circle bruises along my back. Two in my lower back, two in the middle, and three along the three along the spine and shoulders. Pretty sweet. I really like getting cupping done. It's actually very intense this time. Lying on my face with like those kind of like those massage tables for like probably 40 minutes with needles in my neck and shoulders, and then stay in the same position until like uh, seven cups. The cups like really pinch. She's, she's got ones that have like a little nubbin at the top. So she, she finds a thing to kind of like pump air out of them and then it holds, right? So each pump is tighter. And so for the first couple of minutes, I was like, wow, this, this really pinches. But then over time it stops pinching and like you're, you feel your heart rate increase and you feel your blood pumping. You feel like circulation running through your whole back. And then eventually, especially the ones near the neck, like my main problems are my right jaw muscle and like muscles along the right side of my neck are just always tense and they're always pulling. And this is one of those moments where I could feel them trying so hard to loosen. And then, but you're trying to get a little bit headachey and like all the muscles in like your temple and like your skull, this whole band of things that people get tension headaches, all of this was kind of like releasing stress and getting kind of like pressured. So it was kind of like a throbbing light headache on me. And I was like, oh my God, this is, getting, this is messing me up. But I have to say, once I got that done, and then a little, and then a couple more needles in my face afterwards, like jaw and temples, um, I was the most relaxed I've been, like, uh, ever, maybe? Like, it was the most relaxed I've ever been, was the way I felt for the next couple of hours. Like, just no excess energy at all. Okay, so nothing up there, so now we go this way, right? Like, literally no excess energy at all, and just the most chill person, unflappable. I felt like I could, like, I felt like I could, um, like, meet people's gaze more. I was, like, less reactive. All these things that I wish I was all the time. It just pulled, it's like, kind of like when you do leg workouts, you know what I mean? It just pulls all the extra bullshit out of your life, and you have no extra energy to be, like, overcharged. It was good. I'm gonna go once a month. See if I can make some progress on, like, jaw and, like, neck stuff. Okay, so Mobilis is in the far right, is that not correct? Mesosaur, this is terrifying. At least we get this. And then maybe a fire spell? Or have one. Fire and ice, let's see which one's more effective. That was good, that was good enough. I'm not sure what happens if you go check on Kefka's tower. Obviously he says come back later, you know, but... Um, I wonder what the- I wonder if there is a cutscene. I'll come back once I have a full party. Just because that seems more appropriate. So much easier, oh my god. Do I have the Gale pay hair pay on? I feel like I've gotten two preemptive rates already. Preemptive strikes. What does she have? A weapon? Oh, she has the Drain Sword. She still has too low health for Atma Weapon, I think. In a game where you can have thousands, even though we're still under a thousand... Uh, I don't think she can... She's too easily taken low. Komodo and Beetle. You have some creepy fellers. Hold two.
kan? Her having the blood sword and him having the hell claw means we both have a, like a passive heal chance on attack, which means I should just often fight. Battles feel a lot easier with my boy here. Plant pyre. God, whatever that was, got blocked. Great. Holy water. Casting on who's this fire dance fire? So bad. Oh, he loses out on XP. Sucks to be you, pal. Look at that. I did the move. Perfect timing. I frame cancelled. God, comparing her to Terra, I feel like the out the magic output much lower. I think she's more like a defensive character, right? I think somewhere around here is a chocobo camp, so I'm gonna check for it now. Nevilthor? Flame Dance should take out everybody. Airblade, bum rush. You guys are still here? No one's dead? We're good? Alright, great. Okay, that battlefield is a lot more manageable here. Famous last words before I get blasted by these dudes. Don't cast me on dead, please. That was weird. Interesting. I've never seen it before. The first hit did damage, and the second hit healed, but there was enough damage in the first hit apparently to kill him. 50%? Yeah. And sap. That's a crazy ability. It's really interesting. Cut a percentage of your HP and then cause you to drip down afterwards. It's kind of like the, uh, the Ton Berries or like the News in Chrono. It's kind of like the Ton Berries in this game, or other Final Fantasy games, or the News. They can either hit you to one, or they can kill you from one, but never, you know, the same. They should be mobiles, right? You get one more battle? We can fight Fumbaba now, right? Or Terra does? Alright, let's see what happens. Doggies? Woof, 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 woof. Couple of couple of Dobermans, they got a pretty good job here. Or maybe they're Rottweilers. It's the same color scheme for both. Someone's coming! Ah! Dogs are pretty mild. Good boy. Is this a Hussie Ranger? What are the other houses? This guy. Bonzo, right? I feel like I remember something weird happening when you sleep here. No, that's the house in Narsh. Isn't there a house you can, isn't there a house behind one of the weapon shops in Narsh and you can fall asleep there? And if you do, uh, something happens, it's a sort of dream. You're gonna have to fight your way in here! Wait! Terra! Mama, do you know these people? I'm so glad to see you're safe. I've missed you so much. But I, I can't come with you. Awkward. Talk to all the kids. Dwayne and Katarina are the oldest ones here. I saw Dwayne kissing Kat. Everyone here calls Tara Mama. Mama. By the way, kid. Did you come to save us from Funbaba? Yes. Funbaba's a big meanie head. 
And Baba's a big meanie head. Mama tries to protect him from Baba, but he's too strong for her. You're not gonna take Tara away, are you? Tara's helped us all to survive. She's given us the hope to keep going. This is our village. We, you can't just waltz in here and break up our family. All right, get out of the way. That is, I, I, uh, can't fight any longer. I'm sorry. The day the world collapsed, Kafka turned his light of judgment on this village. The adults all died trying to protect their children. Mm -mm. <laughs> Like, how do people get where they did? Did they just, like, fall out of the sky and, like, survive that? It's heading this way. Protect the kids! I guess there's no fall damage in the Final Fantasy universe. Seems like a fair estimation. There are only kids here now. The moment I arrived, I felt needed. Oh, motherly instinct. Creeping back in. You can't take Tara away from us! You can't take Tara away from us! <laughs> Dwayne! Please forgive him. It's just that if Tara goes, we lose the only thing holding this village together. It's just that all hope leaves with her. It's nothing, really. I don't know why these kids need me, but they've made me feel things I've never felt before. The moment that feeling took root inside me, I lost my power to fight. I'm sorry. I can honestly say I don't know what's going on inside me. My ovaries are pulsating. And the more I try to understand it, the more that power fails me. Tara's helped us all to survive. She's given us the hope to keep going. I can honestly say I don't know what's going on inside me, and the more I try to understand it, the more the power fails me. Right? Dwayne's outside. My mamas and papas are gone. The 70 server band? Run! Fun Baba's coming! I could have given a more threatening name. <laughs> You want some of this? Ancient demon from Baba, reborn from the world's ruin. You won't harm this village! Do I control this? This is unwinnable, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Good try. Tara, wake up. Alright, well... Oh god, that's not bad. Uh, pummel? Scan? Uh, rasp? Slow? Scan. Hey, cast, cast float, Sabin. That's your next job, that really fucking hurt. That boy? Ooh, so fire. Wait a minute, just, we don't have fire spells. Heat against fire, got it. What was the second thing? I'm sorry, what was that? Is this not winnable? Maybe we shouldn't waste spells. How did he, how much did she just hit her for? Slow? I think this is unwinnable. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Clap? Okay, you gotta miss that. Man, Sabin is going to town on this boy. Is he. Is he sapped? Oh, I forgot the fuck for the float. Right. Next turn, next turn. 
That's the least of my problems. That's fine. What do I do? Seraph is the one. This is Re-Rise. Might as well. Jesus. This is, has to be like probably like one of, if not the best summons. Hold on. I'd have a quick, uh... Quick dried meat. Get her through this difficult part in her life. Rude, rude. You're doing good. Cure yourself only. Let's get some fire dances in there. Okay, if you just have sap on him currently, nice. Is there any other spell that Sabin has which would be useful? Probably not. This would be fine. And then an AoE heal, an AoE cure here. Should she cast regenerate herself? I fucked it up. Jesus Christ. fumbaba has got like that, that real like uh, juice monkey. Physique to him. The big belly, skinny calves, huge shoulders. That was a lot of damage. I cast Regen myself. Is he gone? Oh, how do you like that, bitch? Nothing? Okay. Well, I wasted Phoenix down. Wow. Oh. I've really lost it, haven't I? She got one shot. I mean, if you hadn't showed up when I did, it's the problem is that I've got all the items, but they get me naked. Mom, are you okay? Sorry, but I'm staying here with the children. Besides, I can't be of any use to you as I am now. You fight from Baba again. Don't stop attacking. The moment you let up, he'll kill you. That's it. Is this like an extended delay? I forget how this works. I have to come back later? Thanks for scaring from Mumbo here. He dropped this during the fight. Nice. Alador. I've heard about that one. This is our village. You can't just waltz in here and break up our family. I keep forgetting he's an adolescent. Alright, so there's nothing really here. But when do I come back? I don't remember how this works. Can I sleep here? No? But like, I don't remember what, at what point I come back. It's appropriate that they don't give you Terra and Celeste right away. That'd be a little underwhelming, you know what I mean? And I'm fine with this being the two dudes I have. I just don't remember. Like, how many dudes do I need before I can do this again? I guess I'll find out. Auto haste. Wow, that's crazy. Float, haste, slow X. That's not him? This isn't the kind of thing that would be for him. Free rise. We're wait for that. Haste is not bad, actually. Let's do haste. You don't need float because he has it. It's fine. But like it or not, like it or not, this is the party I've got for a while. Okay, cool. Plant pyre. So can I get? Oh, I need realm for the other guy, right? Why is that thing so squishy? Or is it just the flame claw without me noticing? It's doing so much damage in the first attack. Why is Megavolt always missing? That's what I want to know.
Oh no, it's not a Komodo beetle, it's a Komodo dragon. You guys misspelled it. I had brunch on Saturday morning with a friend of mine. My friend is like one of those guys who's like really into like uh, dinosaurs and like animals and everything. And he's also like very, 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 very smart. He's like a guy who's like pretty anxious, but he's like literally one of the most like talented, like scholastic people you'll ever meet. Like he's so good at like retaining stuff from um, from like classwork and schoolwork, and he got a law degree and everything. So he's like someone who's actually like made, managed to make his like sort of he sort of transferred his like childlike wonder with like animals and nature and all these things into like an actual like career where he like works to get like uh animal rights bills passed in canada for like reducing zoo captivity and all this like really really cool shit and uh it's pretty funny we go for brunch and we talk about it and andrea's there too he doesn't know really that well um and he basically is like by the end of it we're mostly just talking about like animal migration and like frozen mammoths I like chocobos a lot. Chocobo ride, hundred bucks. How about it? He's like basically by the end of it talking about. Uh, that's what we're talking about: is like frozen mammoths and uh, migration patterns and horses and all these things. So you know, some people, some people know what they like. As far as I recall, the lore of this game of why they did a World of Ruin is because they like basically delivered the first half of the game, or like what they thought was the game, like on time and under budget, or like under schedule, under budget, etc. And then, and then like basically like, okay, well we can keep going, and then made the World of Ruin. But there's a lot of content here, there's like a thing per person for everybody. This is much more like individuated. That classic... As I was talking about the other day, it's like that classic uh, Squaresoft RPG thing, where the second half of the game is like the penultimate quest for every person, and like the, and then they're like their big payoff. Really cool. I wonder how the bum rush thing works. I think before you need to be like at least a certain level to be able to get Sabin's ultimate technique, didn't you? Could be wrong about that. I think we need to get a boat here, right? There's not a whole lot of means of what else to do. Okay, whatever happens here, I think is the last thing I'll do today. I'm trying to stay on pace here. This is another like underrated town that you don't get enough time to spend here. Any secret fellers here? Let's see any. We live here in constant fear of Kafka finding us. Oh, this is where you find Edgar, I think. This is a, yeah, this is an underrated, this is an underused town in the first half of the game. You only go here to, um, well, you only, go, you only go here in this, for the first half of the game to just end the Sabin, the Sabin storyline when everyone splits up. Underly, underutilized, generally speaking. What do you got, pal? After the world ended, I woke up all alone in Doma Castle. When I tried to sleep there, demons came to my dreams and, oh god, it was horrible. See, that's a great kind of hint. Everyone's kind of just telling you what stuff to do. Butterfly, Kotetsu, Ichimonji, Fire Rod, Ice Rod, Thunder Rod. Alright, fine. I love these kind of parts of games. Where everything just opens up and now they give you all these little hints to where to go. The road you followed here used to be underwater. Nice kid. Really helpful. He's hanging out at the pub all escaped from Figaro Castle on the day the world collapsed. You don't have anything new. This is such bullshit. The ship to South Figaro is about to leave. Nice. Hey, come on, get out of the way. Little kid like me doing business? Sad, ain't it? If there's any pity in your heart, buy something, will ya? Talisman, Fairy Charm, Safety Glow, Barry Cube, White Cave, Dragon Seal. I already got the shit, kiddo. It's a new inventory. Have I talked to this mom? Have I talked to this hot mom? Moving under the desert, she figured our castle hit something and came to a halt. I wonder what that's down there. See? 
They give you, they told you Dome Castle, Doom Gaze, the Nine Dragons, um, a couple other things too. We'll enter the castle through the secret cave that only we knows about. The boss wants to sneak into Figaro Castle to get our booty back from the basement there. Our last boss died that day we met up with Jirad in this town. From out of nowhere, a bunch of huge sandworms burrowed into the prison. We followed their tunnels back to the surface and escaped. Alright, let's go! Move out! These guys seem kind of shady. The boss of that gang was flirting with me. He's kind of cute. From out of nowhere, a bunch of huge... Okay, never mind. What are you now? Our last boss died that day. The boss wants to sneak into the castle, dude. Alright, what's going on here? Follow these rascals. I want this boat. This ship has been taken over by the Scorpion Gang. I'm gonna secret men all over again. Get lost! Get lost! The ship has been taken over by the Scorpion Gang. Okay, so do I go back into the cafe? How's this work? Missed this guy before? Edgar. Fucking Edgar Chroma. Edgar. Look, I'm kind of busy here. We're leaving for Figaro on the ferry soon, so if you don't mind, don't play stupid with me, Edgar. Or have you somehow lost your memory? Listen, milady, it's crazy me to disappoint such a beauty, but I've only been Gerard since the day I was born. Since the day I was born. I never met anyone else who would fl flirt with a lady who was trying to shake off his tail. <laughs> never mind. I gotta go. What's all this bloomin' fuss about? Is it not common is it not common courtesy of the world over to be polite to a lady? Well don't that don't, don't that just beat all. Poor guy doesn't even recognize his freaking twin brother. What? No, you idiot, he wants us to follow him. Can you tell? You're his brother. Can you not? Was he there the whole time? You know the way into Figaro Castle quite well then, correct? Do we ever? Good. You lead the way. I'll take point once we're in. Oh, a little... A little solid snake mission, is it? Oh, my eyes hurt. I'm trying to get hungry. I feel drained of... I just feel drained of resources. So is this the Figaro? What's in this island? What's in this island? Yeah, here it is. Okay. So up there should be Kalingan and the and the opera, the Coliseum. Where's that due west? I'm so lost. This guy doesn't give a shit. There were stowaways at all. These guys don't care. They don't care about stowaways. Boss of these thieves is staying at the inn. Raja. Did I not get that one or did they redo them? I'll find out whether this one here. The whole color scheme for the town is different. I love this town. I remember being I remember being a little kid. I just played I played this game like a year or two earlier. The Figaro Desert is home to some pretty nasty creatures these days. Um, and I went to like, I did like a one day course. Some days I don't even know why I bother. The things I've done in the last year, god I feel so dirty, oops. Figure castle malfunction in the desert and got stuck there, I wonder if these people are okay. Some guy came through here a while ago. Thanks. We're storming Figaro castle. People have been drinking a lot more these days, that's fair. Some guy came through here a while ago. Duh. Anyway, so I did this like day long course at Carlton University. That was like how to make a video game. So like, I mean, what are you gonna do when you're like a 12 year old? 
in three hours. People are drinking more of the hard stuff these days. These spirits there. Sir, may I have a bottle of this? I can trade you this cider. Hmm. This is a good vintage. Had a bottle just like this stolen from me last year, actually. Um, alright, it's a deal. Got Leo's spirits. Thank you. What? Leo's spirits? You don't think... You don't think they let you do that in this game and you get to get Leo back? If they did that, I'm giving the... If you can get Leo in this game and they, they fix that error of never being able to resurrect him... I guess you just pour it on his grave for a ring. But if you can get him back and that's something they fix... Give him, I'm, I'm, I'm PayPaling the developers $100. Um, so they're like, hey, you want to make a game? Some people try to make like a board game or a dice game or whatever they try to do only have a couple hours. All I did was spend time on one screen drawing like a picture of Figaro cast, of South Figaro. That's all I did. And then I got like a tenth done. And then that was it for the entire day. You people are so following me. Be polite now, Edgar. Boss, everything's ready. Let's go. Case of mistaken identity, my dear. I'll give it up. The guy was never like, hey, maybe you just drawing one scene from one town you were in in a game you like is maybe not the best use of your time, but hey, you know, didn't pay that much for it. You get another one of those really cool things my folks did to, like, open up doors for me, which I appreciate now in retrospect. The Figaro Cave is still there, but doesn't go in, doesn't go anywhere no more. What are these guys doing? There's no use in moping around, so we're staying busy. Good for you guys. Tenacity. There's nothing left in my hometown. That's fair. Why is this here? I don't remember. Ugh, I need a drink. Is everyone alcohol? There's always a draft in this room. Where's it coming from? Can't be bothered doing this right now. I'll try in a second. Let me check the rest of the house first. Figaro, dis Figaro Castle disappeared the day the world unraveled. Derp. Why does this kid suck so much? Why did you choose to make this kid suck? See the kid that says, like, wind the clock, wind the clock? Isn't that fine? There's no point in doing this, right? I don't think there is. Razor's Edge, bouncing on a ledge. He's a rapper. If the Light of Judgment should burn our town down a hundred times, we'll rebuild it a hundred times. Any more than that, though, we probably should consider relocating. That's right, not bad. <laughs> Five points. No demerits. Falchion. Who uses this? And a trident. So this is the only new thing. Dual wield, make counterattack. Yeah, pretty good. Better for her than the ammo weapon, I think. 
Diamond Kite. What's that? Shield? Diamond Helm, Diamond Vest, Diamond Mail. Has bolt damage, has bolt damage. I'm gonna buy one of each, except the vest, maybe? 15, 20. I don't wanna waste, I don't wanna bust my whole load here. It's nice to have the options, though. Some strong stuff. I don't, think the, I don't think the helm's worth it. Anyway, I think these are like basically like the best sort of like basic gear you can get. So I'm sure I'll, I'll accumulate some over time, but having one patch, one have, having one circuit of it is not the worst thing ever. But like, they've been pretty tough on money this game. And I don't like over leveling. This is like a classic, like, this is like a classic video game moment. Like, being under leveled is not like something to feel bad about being under leveled is a point of pride. It means you're using more brain and less like time. Like when I was playing and like struggling with a fight before, someone was like, there's no shame in like grinding a bit to get over leveled. To get some levels up. And I'm like, no, that means that I'm relying on too much easy mechanics to get through. Did you hear that Duncan's alive? His wife said so. Interesting. Interesting. My grandfather was a servant for the richest family in town. I don't care that the world's been destroyed. Where's my cider, woman? Leo's spirits. I feel like what's going to happen is when I go to Tamasa, I can drop something. On uh, I can drip, I can drip the spirits on the grave, and then maybe I'll get some sort of special relic. I don't think it's going to let me have Leo back, but you know, a man can dream. Back here. There's a couple of people hidden in the forest, so I can't forget. Dead? Good heavens, no. My husband is meditating somewhere east of Narsh. Lovely. I'll be there. Good heavens, no. This is how you get here. I never knew that. I don't think I've ever, like, retraced these steps before. Alright, you lovers. What do you got going on here? For each life lost, a new one rise to fill the void. You guys having... Did you impregnate her in the woods? What are we, bunnies? <laughs> a boy. She knows. She gets it. Okay, so... The next thing to do is to follow Edgar to Figaro Castle. But am I going to do that? No. Because I have it... Breakfast this morning, and then a light snack of some biltong and some milk. But otherwise, I'm not have a, have not had a proper three meal day. So I'm going to make as much pasta as I can pack in my face without uh, feeling ill later. The thieves left town. It's raining now, Louis C.K. It's raining. Anyone else here to talk to? No. Am I healed up? Yes. Do we have Esper levels? Anything fun like that? I don't care. We'll deal with this later. Okay, so that was pretty nice. We made it to the new world. Nice, tight little t one hour and 56 minutes. So, back tomorrow afternoon. Ta-ta, arrivederci, alvida, sayonara, all the rest. <laughs>